All right, everyone, I got a few uh, items in a package from Amazon. Um, I wanted to open it a little bit before I started recording, so the package is opened, but I haven't taken anything out of it yet because I've tried in the past, and, um, well, it's hard to get an Amazon package open with one hand and your teeth. Anyway, I expect a few different items, and we'll see if I have all three in here. But uh, this is a package that I got from Amazon. And uh, let's see what we got in here. Necronomicon Spellbook. I did want that accompaniment with the uh, Necronomicon that I have. And, yep, Necronomicon, the Gates of the Necronomicon. That's another accompaniment that I wanted for the Necronomicon that I have. And um, I expect these books will be incredibly useful in uh, accompanying the Necronomicon, uh, which is a book of uh, Lovecraftian magic, basically. Um, a lot of people believe that... Um, that Lovecraft was, uh, you know, a purely fiction writer, and he did publish under fiction um, at the beginning. Um, but now it's start to be seen. I'm one of the people, but I'm still open-minded as to him just being a fiction author. But I think that he really did tap into something that um, that we that we don't really that we hadn't seen before exactly, at least in many many hundreds of years, as far as that that current that uh, chaotic current along with. Um, uh, an order side to that chaotic current, if that makes any sense, a current of magic. And um, I think Lovecraft did tap into that quite a bit. Of course, I have um, H.P. Lovecraft's works like the Cthulhu Mythos Tales, and that includes like uh, books like the uh, the name the Nameless City, and which is a, well, a short story, and another short story uh, the Call Cthulhu, and uh, other stories like that. And uh, it's, it's a great book. It's, uh, it's, it's wonderful. His story writing is amazing, and I think he does tap into something that we haven't seen in quite a while. And, uh, you know, he's, this is an author from, you know, 100 years ago, but um, even uh, quite a while before that and since, uh, he tapped into something very special. Now, um, I'll go ahead and record maybe the description on the back of this book. Master Power. Necronomicon Spellbook the back of that if you want to deposit and read that there you go just want to give you the opportunity and the necronomicon or the gates of the necronomicon <laughs> and these and this was written by not lovecraft but let me see if i can get that without the reflection there we go it's better there we go if you want to pause it right there and read that give you the opportunity but anyway um these are these are supposed to be very good uh, aids in understanding uh, the Necronomicon itself, which I have a copy of. And uh, I expect one more. Well, the spell book is, of course, spells from the Nec Necronomicon, expansions on them. And uh, it's similar with the gates from the Necronomicon. But uh, the last item I expect in this package is a necklace. And I believe I got it. It's a. Um, it's basically um, Odin surrounded by all the runes of the Elder Futhark. Uh it was really cheap. I just wanted it for the symbols. I didn't look for high quality, and I, that's what, exactly what I expect. Um, and it actually came in a little pouch. And the description is right there. You can read that too if you so desire. Try to not get too much glare. Once again, I'm doing this with one hand, so that's, that's interesting. Uh, take it out. And, yep, it's actually bigger than I expected. But um, it's a black chain, a uh, ball chain. And um, there we have Odin with, well, the horn version of Odin is kind of incorrect, but it's it, it can be appropriate depending on how you understand the horns. But, uh, you know, Vikings didn't wear horned helmets, but, um, you know, it is what it is. And uh, he's surrounded by the runes of the Elder Futhark. Yep, those are definitely the Elder Futhark. And, uh, oh, I actually didn't expect it to be double-sided. So, hey, that's good. I spent about, I mean, I actually don't remember how much I spent on it. But um, it was like around 10 bucks on Amazon. And each of these books is around 7 bucks. Mass paperback productions. Uh, the the necklace is Asatru Odin Asgard uh, Rune necklace if you look up that you'll find it and uh with black ball chain which i've 
not had before, which is pretty interesting. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that, share with you that one moment, and um, if you're interested, and uh, hey, feel free to ask me a question or uh, why I'm ordering this stuff, and um, hit that thumbs up down there if you like this video at all, and I will see you in the future.